In this video, I'll show you how to use the keyer effect in Final Cut Pro so you can take your footage from this to this and even add some cool special effects. Don't go away. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel where we review tech related to making YouTube videos and sometimes we do Final Cut Pro tutorials just like this one. So if you're liking this content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. If you've ever wondered about green screens and how they work but thought using green screens were too complicated, think again because in this video I'll show you how you can use the keyer effect in Final Cut Pro so you can take your footage from this to this and even add some cool special effects. And make sure you stick around until the end where I share a bonus tip on where to get free green screen effects from. The keyer effect is used to erase or key out certain colors in your video footage. Usually it's associated with amazing green screen effects used in the movies, but actually you can use it in your own videos to produce some pretty cool effects. But if you don't intend using a green screen yourself, you can use this method to use green screen effects you can download from the internet to add some visual interest or special effects to your videos. So first of all, I'll show you how to apply the keyer effect and then I'll show you where you can get some of the clips that you can use yourself. Hey guys, so I've set up a project timeline here in Final Cut Pro. I've got three examples that I want to talk you through. One is how to do a backdrop, one is how to apply a special effect, and one is how to make use of other green surfaces like computer screens or phones. So the first one here is a backdrop. I had a table set up in my garage. This is just a green sheet hung behind me. And what I want to do is I want to take a screen grab that I've got here from a Casey Neistat video and make that my background. So the first thing I want to do is actually get rid of the green sheet. So I'm going to select the clip, then I'm going to go over here to the effects browser. I'm going to scroll down until I see keying. And there is a Kia effect here. I'm just going to drag and drop that onto the clip. Now, as you can see, it's taken out a lot of the green, but because uh, I didn't have it lit particularly well, uh, if I just turn that Kia effect off, you will see there's shadows down here. This is nice and green here, but you can see shadows up here, or so down here. I'll turn the Kia effect back on. It's managed to key out. Uh, that green but not so much that. That's easily fixed, so go across here to sample color, then go across to the area that I want it to know to remove, and I'm just going to click and drag slowly, and it figures it out and it's removed it. So it's done a pretty good job there, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Next I'm going to take the backdrop, and then I'm just going to drag and drop that underneath and then I'm going to stretch out to the same length as my clip. And as you can see there, um, I've done a pretty easy job of putting in uh, Casey Neistat's uh, workshop as my backdrop. Now you could then go and do some color correction on this uh, clip of me uh, to make it blend a little bit more. Um, and if you're using a green sheet or a green screen or something like that, try to think about ahead of time what the lighting is going to be on the thing that you're going to put behind the clip and then match it as, um, as best you can. So that's one method. So the next one is a superhero landing effect. I've got an example here to show you what that might look like. Scroll through and then you can superimpose yourself landing on the ground or, or something like that. It looks pretty cool. Now this is a effect that I've just downloaded off YouTube. So to apply it what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to where I've saved that effect and I'm just going to drag and drop that down. Drag and drop it down on top of the clip. So as we can see we've got our clean slate underneath just basically a photo of that area and then we've got our green screen effect that happens over the top of that. So again to get rid of that green effect all we do is take our keyer effect over here, drag and drop it onto the clip with the green screen and there we go. I'll just play that. We've got our special effect. Now there's hundreds and hundreds of green screen effects that you can download 
um, off YouTube, you can go to different places and buy packs of them as well. So it's not just using the green screen effect as a backdrop like I did in the first example, you can use it to apply special effects. Now the third one I want to show you is when you've got something like a green colour on a computer screen or a phone screen or something like that, you can again easily replace that. So I've got this concert footage here and I want that to appear on the computer screen in the clip. So same thing again, select the clip, grab my Kia, drag and drop that onto, onto that clip. Now with this one and the special effects one, because the green was so clear and so bright, the Kia has done a very good job of just erasing that, just to, just taking it out. Whereas when I had my sheet hung in the garage, you could see it had some folds and shadows on it. But with these ones, it does a much, much better job. So I'm gonna go up to my concert clip, I'm gonna drag that down underneath. Now, because that concert clip, I'll just disable the green screen one at the moment. Because the concert clip is taking up the whole screen, and we only want it to take up part of that, we need to transform the shape of it. So I'll just re-enable that. So what I'll do to this top clip, just to help us out, is I will change the opacity of it so we can see through it. And we'll just bring it down so we can see the clip underneath. Next thing I'm gonna do is select the clip underneath, go up to the Transform tool and select Distort. Then I'm just gonna drag these handles. I might just make the canvas a little bit smaller so I can drag these a bit easier. I'm just going to drag these handles to the corners of my computer screen. Again if you're doing a really fine job you might want to zoom in to get it exactly right but for the purposes of this you know what I'm trying to do. That's probably good enough. And hit done. I'll go back to my first clip and I will bring the opacity right back up. And the other thing you can do is play with, again, the color correction of the concert clip. That doesn't look too bad. What I could do is just bring the opacity down a little bit just to make it look a little bit more like it belongs on that screen. And there you go. Pretty cool way to use uh, green screen effects. Now, where to get these clips? If you Google, you will find plenty of options of people selling green screen packs. But to be honest, 90% of what I've needed, I've found on YouTube just by searching for green screen effects. Even graphics like subscribe buttons and things like that. You just need to Google for a YouTube downloader plugin, and then when you find a clip you like, download it, and then import it into Final Cut Pro as normal. In some cases, you might want to remove the background from a static photo to use in your videos. For example, pictures of products or gadgets of items and things like that. Well, you might not have known, but there is a super quick and easy way of doing that on your Mac with software that's already installed. You don't need any additional plugins or programs, and I've made a video about that, so be sure to check out that by clicking on the link on screen. I've also made a playlist of a bunch of Final Cut Pro tips videos that I've made as I've learned things along the way. So check out that by clicking on the on-screen link now. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video.